welcome grade 2 students welcome in your science lesson how are you all good ready for science lesson yes all right now first tell me class what was the topic that we were doing in science that we have already started yes it was about materials as you can see on my board also i have written materials so the topic which we did was materials and what we have learned in this topic actually let's quickly quickly recap what we did in this topic first lesson we did different things that are made from different materials different types of things and what were the materials used for making those things right and in the second lesson what we did yes we learned about the properties of materials what do you understand by properties different characteristics right like what yes the material could be hard it could be soft it could be smooth it could be rough it could be slippery it could be light it could be heavy yes these are the different properties of materials let's quickly do the recapping by watching uh, our video again this is our own edwell video do watch it later on also because you are going to learn a lot of things from this video are you all ready All right, there we go. One, two, and three. Can you all see my screen, children? That's great. Come on, let's watch this now. Hello, children. Today we will talk about material and how things are made from each material. Hmm, there are many kinds of material, like, for example, glass. A glass is made out of glass, but there are many other things which can be made out of glass. Hmm, it's a cup. This is a paper cup. A cup can be made out of paper, and paper, books, etc., are also made out of paper. So for that, the material is paper, and then we have plastic. Plastic is a very popular material. It can be used for utensils. and a lot of other things like toys as well and then you have buildings buildings are made out of concrete concrete buildings it's very hard it's a solid substance and then a spoon a spoon is made out of steel there are many other things which are made out of steel as well and then a tie a tie is made out of cloth your shirt your pants your dresses and so many other things are also made out of cloth so there are many other materials as well let's learn all right so you have seen in the video you have recapped the video that there are different things different materials which uh, of which the different things are made right now just quickly tell me the different things that are made from wood what can you guess what are the things which are made from wood which you will find actually in your room or in your house you can say tables are made from wood you can say spoons your utensils some of the utensils cooking and cooking utensils which your mom uses in kitchen are made from wood what else furniture items like table chair bed and uh, dressing table cupboards they are made from wood. right now tell me some of the things which are made from by uh, from paper tissue paper correct your books are made uh, from paper correct you can make other things like what like paper cups paper plates very good now uh, tell me some things which are made from plastic you can say plastic bottles plastic glasses you can say other things uh, uh, of with which are made from by uh, the plastic uh, plastic cups bottles plastic spoons right okay now tell me the things which are made from glass there are so many things your glass bottles your glasses in which you drink your uh, drink uh, water drink juices glass. you can say different mugs which are used in homes in which you drink your milk you can drink your chocolate milk right so these are a different plates are of made from glass right okay now uh, plastic is done glass is done okay what are the things which are made from cloth 
your clothes, your dresses, which you wear, these are all made from cloth, right? And then comes uh, metal. There are different spoons. You can say metal things. There are lots of lots of metal things that like different type of, uh, you can say spoon, utensils are made from metal also. They are made with uh, uh, steel also, metal and steel both. They are, and uh, you can say, there are metal toys also, steel toys also, which you use. And uh, there are different kitchen utensils which you use, like spoon, forks, knives, right? And what about your toys? How, what, which material is used in your, in your toys? Some of your toys are of plastic, some of them might be of wood, some of them might be of steel or metal, right? So you see? Materials play a very, very important role. It, there are so many things that we use in our daily life which are made from different types of materials. Let's have a look at them. Let's watch what are the other things that are made with different materials. Okay, you can say these, uh, these are the following things which are made from wood. Like you can say these are cupboards, your shelves, and these are utensils which I have already discussed with you. Some boards which are used in your homes, in your classrooms, they are also made from wood, right? Now here you can say different uh, things which are made from metal. You can say scissors, again, these are utensils, this is a hammer. These are all made from metal or metal spoons are there, metal or uh, metal toys are also there. Then you come to plastic. You can say these are plastic balls which you use for to play also, or sometimes you use these balls for decoration also, which you use in your homes. This is plastic bottles, again, plastic bottle, how we use plastic for decoration and how we recycle them. Like these were the bottles and they have recycled them by use making a uh, pots, right? They have recycled these bottles. So you can also recycle plastic. Then you have, these are the things which are made from leather. Leather bags, leather shoes, leather belts, so many different things which are made from leather. It is another material. So you have seen that there are so many different types of materials that, and so many different things which are made from different materials. Now what I want you, I want you to quickly, quickly close your eyes and think about the different things that are in your homes which are made from different materials. Just close your eyes for a second and you think about it and then tell me. Okay class, only for one second when I say start, you will close your eyes. When I say stop, you are going to stop. Okay, all right, start, close your eyes. Stop. Okay, did you uh, think about something? Yes, some things which are made from different materials. All right, now I'm going to ask you uh, the things which are made, which you find in your homes and which are made from different materials. Now, first is paper. First material is paper. Tell me what are the things that you find in your room, in your house actually. Your books, okay. Tissue, okay. All right, now next is what you call steel. Spoons. There are glasses also which are made from steel, right? All right. Next material is cloth. What are the things? Yes, of course, your dresses. Okay. And then comes plastic. What are the material? Bottles, you can say glass, you can say, right? Okay, then comes uh, the material which is glass. We have so many things which are made from glass. You can say uh, glasses in which you drink milk as we have already discussed. Plates. Right? 
So these are the different things that you have told me that you find in your house that you can easily find in your house which are made from different materials. So that means see how you use these materials in everyday life. Everyday life you use all these different types of materials and so it means that how very important these materials are. Without these materials it becomes difficult for you to uh, uh, live comfortably in, in, in this life, right? In your in your homes, in wherever you are. So materials play a very, very important role. And you have seen so many different types of materials in the video, in the presentation, which I have shown you, right? So what I want you to do now, I want you all to copy down this list, make a list of these materials and the things that, because you all already have told me this. So write it down in your notebooks in the same way like I have written. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes for this task and your time starts now. Okay, show me your work. All right, you have written. Now what you can do for homework, you can draw small, small pictures of these things on their side. Like suppose you have written books and tissues on the, on the side of that where you have written this side, you can draw small pictures that would be your homework, okay? So that means that can you summarize the topic in, a sent in one sentence what we have learned today? Yes, we have learned about materials, the different things which are made from different materials. So this class, we have wind up this whole topic that was for materials. This whole week we did materials and today was the third day and we have finished the topic materials. So keep revising whatever we have done throughout the week on, of this topic. Because you know tomorrow you will have your class test and uh, the class test will be from the same topic materials and whatever we have done up till now are uh, related to this topic. So to revise that for homework. I'll be posting that also and on portal and this homework also. So two tasks we need to do for home from home. One is you do have to draw the pictures and the second is you have to revise whatever we have done up till now throughout the week for the class test. Okay children? So I hope you must have enjoyed the lesson and must have learned something in the class. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.